Hello everyone and welcome to a Roblox video and today I'm going to show you guys how to create and publish a Roblox Game Pass. Let's get started. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to be doing so on an alt account because I feel like if you have never made a Roblox game nor a Game Pass before, things might look a little different. So I want to try and offer the most relatable perspective. Even if you have created a Roblox game before but never a Game Pass, you can still do this tutorial. So first, what you want to do is of course, head to the Roblox home menu. Uh, I'm on my profile for example. And you want to go to this button that says create. And there was a pop-up that says like, oh, get started to create, blah, 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 blah. Just continue forward and you'll land on this page right here. So for every Roblox account actually, every single account has a default place already created automatically upon the account's creation. But we're just here to make a game pass here. So what you want to do, is you want to go to this game right here that's already made the moment your account is made uh, you want to manage the experience and here's the game settings right here so once you're in a roblox game page just scroll down until you find passes on your left and this will pop up the page of creating game passes create a pass now it's up to you if you want to create an image you don't have to i'm just gonna keep it on default for now so what you want to do is give it a name. My Roblox alt username, because why not? And you can give it a description. You don't have to. And then create a pass. Once you've done that, all your created game passes for your said Roblox can be selected will be shown the bottom here. Here you can see information like the type of game pass, the game pass ID, this will be important later, as well as if it's on sale or not. So what you want to do is click on the game pass you just created, then you want to go to this button here that says sales. Then of course, you got to make it on sale if you want people to buy it. Now, if you're a game developer, you don't have to do this right away. You can just configure in your Roblox can to do whatever to make this game pass do kind of whatever you want, right? But let's say you're trying to make some game passes for a game called Please Donate or Epic Mini Games, trying to sell things, right? So what you want to do is go to the pass right here. So again, sales, put the item for sale. And you gotta put a price. Now, let's say this game pass can cost 100 Robux. Now, there's something that you guys need to know. Roblox has this thing called taxes. Basically, Roblox takes away 30% of the commission price for the game pass. So, for example, if you're selling a game pass for 100 Robux, and if someone buys it, you get 70 Robux instead of 100, because what's 30% of 100 is 70. This is just an example. So, just because you sell something for 100 Robux, doesn't mean you'll get 100 Robux in turn. But if you don't care about Roblox taxes that much, especially the game pass is relatively small, you can just put it whatever. So for now, I'm just going to put it to 100 Robux. Um, you can enable this if you want, I guess you can do that. Um, you can read more about it right here. Once you've done that, you can click Save Changes. Then you go back to the game page in the studio, and here it is. It's on sale for 100 Robux down below. And that's pretty much it. You create the game pass, it's on sale. Now for certain Roblox games, they might ask you to put the ID of that game pass into whatever system it is for trading, right? For example, please donate, there might be a booth that tells you to uh, put a link in there and put on the game pass, right? But before you do that, uh, this is what a lot of people don't realize. Your Roblox game, that has the linked game pass you want to put on sale has to be open. So, how to make your Roblox place public access? Just go to settings right here, scroll down, and uh, the game is already in public automatically, but uh, just in case if it's private, make sure it's public. Yeah, people can join your Roblox game, but it's gonna be a base play anyway, so it's like there's nothing to really be embarrassed about. After all, this is created the moment my alt was created, so there's literally just bare bones nothing in here. But yeah, once this game is public and the game pass is on sale, then you're good to go. Now once you want to add a game pass to whatever booth or whatever you're selling, just copy and paste the ID. Again, the pass right here. You can also view this game pass on the URL if you view this Roblox game on the Roblox page. So let's go over here. Let's view my Roblox game on the website. And you scroll down, to store. There's my game pass right here. Click on that. And looking at this URL right here, it shows you roblox.com slash game pass slash and then a set of numbers and then a game pass name. Those batch of numbers is the game pass ID, which is what you need 
to copy and paste into whatever booth in Roblox games to put the Game Pass on sale. And that's it! Um, for mobile users, um, you might be thinking this is not possible at all to like manage your creative experiences or Roblox Game Passes, whatever, right? Well, actually, you can. Just choose a browser of your choice that runs Roblox. Uh, just log into your Roblox account on that said browser, and you can pretty much do the same steps as I've shown in this video. I'm not a mobile user, but I taught someone how to do this on mobile and they managed to pull it off, so... For console users, well, I guess you're kinda out of luck. I guess there's a way to modify it where you can have an open browser on there, and... Even then, it's, it's just a whole tedious, slow process. But yeah guys, that is it, how to create and publish a Game Pass on Roblox. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them all. And uh, you want to see more videos like these, feel free to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and peace.